Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the top 5 things to watch in the highly anticipated matchup between the Detroit Lions and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We got ourselves a real slobber knocker on our hands folks, these two teams are ready to bring it. From explosive offenses to hard-hitting defenses, this game has all the makings of a classic. So buckle up, grab your snacks, and let's get right into it. All right, first things first, we gotta talk about the man, the myth, the absolute unit that is DJ Reader, baby. This guy is not just any player. He's a game changer, a force of nature on the field. When you think of a defensive lineman who can dominate the trenches, DJ Reader is the name that should come to mind. His presence alone can shift the momentum of a game, and that's exactly what the Detroit Lions need this season. This dude is an absolute monster in the middle of that defensive line. And Lions fans, you're finally gonna get to see what he can do in Honolulu Blue. Imagine the roar of the crowd as he takes the field, ready to wreak havoc on the opposing offense. The energy he brings is palpable, and it's something that can electrify the entire stadium. Lions fans, get ready to witness a defensive masterclass. We talking about a guy who can stuff the run like he's closing the door on a timeshare salesman. His ability to read the play and react with lightning speed is second to none. When the running back thinks he has a clear path, DJ Reader is there to shut it down. It's like watching a master at work, dissecting every move and countering it with precision and get after the quarterback like he owes him money. His pass rushing skills are a nightmare for any quarterback. The way he bursts through the offensive line, it's almost as if he's teleporting. One moment he's lined up and the next, he's in the quarterback's face ready to bring him down. It's a sight to behold, and it's something that will keep offensive coordinators up at night. Aaron Glenn, the Lions defensive guru, knows what he's got in Reader, and you better believe he's gonna have him unleashed in this one. Glenn's defensive schemes are designed to maximize the strengths of his players, and with DJ Reader, he's got a weapon of mass disruption. The synergy between coach and player is something special and it's going to be a key factor in the Lions' defensive success. Bucks' offensive line, you have officially been warned. This isn't just another game, this is a battle in the trenches, and DJ Reader is leading the charge. The Buccaneers' offensive line will have to bring their A game to stand a chance against this relentless force. Every snap, every play, they'll have to account for Reader or risk seeing their quarterback on the ground. This ain't no drill, baby. This is the real deal, and DJ Reader is here to make a statement. His debut in Honolulu Blue is not just a game, it's an event. It's a showcase of what happens when preparation meets opportunity. The Lions have been waiting for a player like him, and now that he's here, the sky's the limit. So buckle up, Lions fans, because DJ Reader is about to take you on a wild ride this season. Get ready for some unforgettable football action. Now let's talk about Baker Mayfield and this Bucks passing attack because last week they were slinging that pigskin all over the field. Mayfield looked like he was back in Oklahoma, just chucking bombs and dimes all game long. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, they were catching everything thrown their way. But guess what? This ain't no cakewalk this week, fellas. The Lions secondary, they're hungry, they're talented, and they're ready to make a statement. This is gonna be a heavyweight bout, folks. Offense versus defense, blow for blow. Can the Lions secondary step up and shut down the Bucks air attack? We're about to find out. All right, let's talk about the man, the myth, the legend himself, the sun god, Amon Ra St. Brown. This young wide receiver has been turning heads ever since he stepped onto the field for the Detroit Lions. His energy, his passion, and his sheer talent have made him a fan favorite and a nightmare for opposing defenses. Now, last week wasn't his best performance, we all know that. He had a few drops, some missed opportunities, and it just wasn't clicking for him. But hey, every great player has an off day, right? It's part of the game. But guess what? Even when he's not putting up video game numbers, he's still impacting the game. His presence on the field demands attention from the defense, opening up opportunities for his teammates. He's always hustling, always giving his all. He's still impacting the game. The dude is a leader, he's a blocker, and he's always there to make the crucial plays when it matters the most. His versatility is what makes him so special. Whether it's catching passes, blocking for the run game, or even just being a decoy, he's always contributing. The dude is a leader, he's a blocker, he's the heart and soul of that Lions offense, but this week? This week, I smell a bounce back game brewing. He's been putting in the work, studying the film, and you can bet he's ready to make a statement. He's the heart and soul of that Lions offense. But this week? This week, I smell a bounce back game brewing. He's been putting in the work, studying the film, 
and you can bet he's ready to make a statement. The Lions' offense revolves around his ability to make plays, and when he's on, the whole team benefits. This week, I smell a bounce-back game brewing. The Bucks' secondary is banged up, they're vulnerable, and you know St. Brown is going to be licking his chops to exploit that. He's been practicing hard, running drills, and perfecting his roots. He's ready to take advantage of any weakness in the defense. The Bucks' secondary is banged up, they're vulnerable, and you know St. Brown is going to be licking his chops to exploit that. He's been watching the tape, identifying their weaknesses, and you can bet he's got a game plan. He's a student of the game, always looking for ways to improve and dominate. And you know St. Brown is going to be licking his chops to exploit that. He's got the speed, the hands, and the football IQ to make big plays. He's been working on his timing with the quarterback, making sure they're in sync and ready to light up the scoreboard. Get your popcorn ready, folks, because the sun god is about to shine bright. The fans are excited, the team is pumped, and you can feel the electricity in the air. This is the kind of game where legends are made, and Amon Ross St. Brown is ready to rise to the occasion, because the sun god is about to shine bright. He's got the talent, the drive, and the determination to bounce back in a big way. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show, because Amon Ross St. Brown is about to put on a clinic. This is his moment, and he's ready to seize it. Now let's talk about the nitty-gritty, the down that separates the contenders from the pretenders, third down. Last week, the Lions, they struggled a bit on both sides of the ball. Offensively, too many three and outs, not enough conversions. Defensively, they couldn't get off the field, let those chains move way too much. This week, they gotta flip the script. The Bucks' offense, they were buzzing on third down last week, converting like crazy. The Lions' defense, they gotta find a way to get off the field, create some turnovers, give their offense more chances. This is going to be a key battle to watch all game long, folks. And finally, we got to talk about the revenge game narrative, baby. This is the kind of storyline that gets every football fan's blood pumping. It's not just another game on the schedule. It's a clash filled with emotions, history, and a bit of drama. When a player faces off against his former team, it's more than just a game. It's personal. The stakes are higher, the intensity is palpable, and the atmosphere is electric. Fans from both sides are on the edge of their seats waiting to see how it all unfolds. Carlton Davis, the veteran cornerback, is going to be lining up against his former team for the first time since the trade. This isn't just any player. We're talking about a guy who has spent years honing his craft, learning the ins and outs of the game, and making a name for himself. Now, he's got something to prove. The trade may have been a business decision, but for Davis, it's a chance to show his former team what they're missing. It's a chance to remind everyone why he was such a valuable player in the first place. And you know what that means? It means we're in for a treat. Davis is not the kind of player to take things lightly. He's a competitor through and through, and when the stakes are high, he rises to the occasion. This game is his opportunity to shine, to put on a performance that will be remembered for years to come. It's not just about winning, it's about making a statement. He's going to be fired up more than ever before. You can see it in his eyes, the determination, the fire. He's been waiting for this moment and now that it's here, he's ready to give it his all. Every tackle, every interception, every play is a chance to prove himself. And you better believe he's going to seize every single one of those chances. He's going to be playing with a chip on his shoulder, no doubt about it. When a player feels like they have something to prove, they play with an extra edge. They dig deeper, push harder, and leave everything on the field. Davis is no exception. He's got that chip on his shoulder, and it's driving him to be the best version of himself. He's not just playing for the win, he's playing for respect, for redemption, for pride. He's gonna be looking to make a statement. This is his moment to shine, to show everyone what he's made of. Every move he makes, every play he executes, is a testament to his skill, his dedication, and his passion for the game. He's not just another player on the field, he's a force to be reckoned with and he's ready to make his mark. Not only that, but he knows that Bucks' offense like the back of his hand. He spent countless hours studying their plays, understanding their strategies, and learning their tendencies. This knowledge gives him a unique advantage, one that he can use to anticipate their moves and counter their plays. It's like having a secret weapon, one that can turn the tide of the game in his favor. He's been in those meeting rooms, he knows their tendencies, he knows their weaknesses, this insider knowledge is invaluable. It allows him to predict their actions, exploit their vulnerabilities, and disrupt their game plan. It's a game of chess, and Davis knows all the moves. 
he's ready to outsmart, outplay, and outlast his former teammates. This is a huge advantage for the Lions' defense, giving them an edge that could be the difference between victory and defeat. With Davis on their side, they have a player who can read the game like a book, anticipate the opposition's moves, and make crucial plays when it matters most. It's a game-changer, and the Lions are ready to capitalize on it. And you better believe Davis is going to be sharing all his secrets. He's a team player and he's committed to helping his new team succeed. Every piece of information, every insight, every strategy he shares is a step closer to victory. He's not just playing for himself, he's playing for his team, and he's ready to do whatever it takes to win. Get ready for a show, folks, because Davis is coming to play. This is more than just a game. It's a spectacle, a showdown, a battle for pride and glory. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride, because this is going to be one for the books. Davis is ready, the stage is set, and the game is on. Let's go. That's it for today's video. We've got ourselves a real barn.